just broke my tripod. Alec is trying to fix it because he goes to UC uh, Berkeley. Build your foundation and excel at tricking. Make it better than this piece of junk. Yes. Get out of here, you dumb tripod, you ugly. The camera crew is dead. So I'll be explaining the touchdown rise in depth. Okay, so the touchdown rise tutorial. Okay, so the Gumby is a solid progression for it. It is, it's really, really good. It's basically the same exact movements on the ground, almost, almost the same exact movements on the ground with two hands. Uh, after you get the Gumby, you can try a one-handed Gumby. Try to put your uh, right hand on the ground and kind of just push off. When you do do this though, um, try to turn your right hand kind of around as you're going into it, because uh, you want to start to get used to turning your body as you start to jump, because um, that'll get you set up for the touchdown rise. So this move isn't really a Sailor Moon. It's honestly just a one-handed Gumby. Sailor Moon's a little bit more like uh, slanted and stuff. All right, so when you do your touchdown rise, um, you're gonna start in a front side stance. You're gonna go ahead and start to bring your arms up over your head and step forward. Your arms are gonna start to come straight down and you're gonna kick your back leg up. Twist your body and look for the ground and make sure your arm is close by your ear reaching for the ground when you do this. Also, you wanna make sure that you jump into your touchdown rise. So as soon as you feel your body twist to the other side, that is when you wanna fully push off your leg and jump. If you go too early, it'll mess you up super bad. And if you go too late, well then you'll just drill straight into the ground. So you just wanna make sure you're working on finding that timing and that will help you out a lot in a touchdown rise. Getting that timing is everything. And also, besides that, you wanna make sure that you are pushing out as much as you can too. If this is your jumping leg right here, and you're like this, you do not want your foot to be directly underneath your body, because you will go up. You want your foot to be more behind you. See how I'm like leaning, and then I fall? You wanna feel that like kinda of like fall, like you're falling forward, and then you wanna push all the way through. And that is what's gonna make it travel more, and not so high, because if you actually if your foot's underneath you, like I said, or in front, it's gonna make you go up. Especially if it's in front, you're gonna go, you're gonna go up super, super high and you don't want that. Another thing about the touchdown rise too, so pretend like I'm going into it right here, my arm's up, I step, this forward foot is right here, I lift my back leg up and start to turn. You wanna make sure your body is lined up with your foot as you're jumping through, like that. See how there's like, look at that. Look at that line right there. That's what you wanna hit. Look at it, you can't even see my other arm. A leg, that's what you want to hit. You want to hit that position and then turn over and look for the ground. And that is going to make your TDR lit. Lit, 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 lit. So when you put your hand down for the touchdown rise, um, there should only be like, there should only be like a split second in your touchdown rise that you don't see the ground. For me, there's always a split second that I cannot see the ground and then my hand touches. But it's like so subtle that like I don't even realize I didn't see the ground. Like it looks like I saw the ground the entire time. Um, and those are the touchdown rises you want because that's gonna make it a lot easier for you to get a good hand plant and get a solid swing through out of your touchdown rise. So again, sorry I was only able to film this from one angle. Okay, literally as I'm filming this right now, I realized that I could have totally just did the touchdown rise in the gym. So my bad on that one. But I'll go ahead and have you guys uh, check it out in like slow motion and stuff real quick. You guys can study up on that. All right guys, so we're back with the Uprise Tricking Curriculum, day three. The first thing we're gonna do is obviously, let's go ahead and warm up with our takeoffs. So we're just gonna do a few pop takeoffs, front side pop takeoffs. Then we're gonna go hit up the back side pop takeoff. And then we're going to do the cheat front side takeoff, followed by the cheat back side takeoff. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the front side swing takeoff, and the back side swing takeoff. Remember, drill those uh, five to 10 times until, you're, until it feels fine, until you understand it and get it. 
Hey, babe. Are you coming? Yeah. <laughs> so then we're gonna do our spin takeoffs. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a spin. We're gonna do a spin front side pop. We're gonna do a spin front side pop, and then we're gonna do a spin back side pop. Followed by the spin front side cheats and the spin backside cheat. And then the spin front side swing and the spin backside swing. Wow, these are confusing to say sometimes. Holy crap. And then once you're done with those, you're gonna be doing what is it you're doing? Look at what is she doing over here? Look at this. Oh. No! Oh almost first try You gotta do it for them. It's my hips. I'm afraid though I'm gonna fall straight away back on this floor. They want you to do it. They want you to fall. Just, just oh, that's I'm just kidding. Wait, hold on. The next thing that you're gonna do is the flipping drills that we learned. All right, she's going for it again. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, what? Oh, oh, what? What do you mean? What the heck, that was super good. That's a world champion cheerleader for you right there. Look at that. Uh, killing on a yoga ball. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is the little flip drills that we learned. We start with a uh, little master step, a little front side master step. Do that a few times, get used to that. We go ahead and move on to the uh, front side swipe step. You swipe that leg over, get used to it, go around. And then we're gonna start with the master step back side. Get a little eagle in there if you'd like. And then we're gonna do the swipe step back side. Do a few of those, get warmed up. All right, so now that you guys have warmed up and you're ready to go, we're gonna learn front kicks. <laughs> yes, that is all we learned today, guys. Is just, uh, we just work on a front kick. So if you're super, super new to this though, obviously you're probably one of you, you might not even know what a front kick is. Um, but if you're somebody who has done martial arts, you're gonna be like, really, Anthony, a front kick? Are you serious? <laughs> well, yeah, I am serious because um, not everybody's a martial artist, bruh. It's um, because you're not uprising. Well, Alright, you're gonna do it now. Uprise or die. I'm in my uprise zone. She's in the uprise zone. Let's get it. <laughs> oh! Yeah, you're trying to like hella muscle that shit though. That was crazy. So, what you're gonna do for front kicks is you're gonna do 100 front kicks. I don't even care what you say. No, seriously though. Um, I would try to just do as many as you can, get used to it. Um, when you do this front kick, you're going to do your front kick and then you're going to land with your leg in front of you, okay? So this is how I'm doing here, kicking and landing in that leg in front of you, just like that. So if you are a left side tricker, you're going to be doing your right leg today. And if you are a right side tricker, you're going to be doing a left side, a left leg front kick today. And yes, there is significance to this, so don't question it. Just trust in the uprise, in the uprise game. All right, so yeah, it was a, it's a, it was, I'm not gonna lie guys, it is a pretty boring day today, but um, <laughs> don't worry, things will get a lot more interesting in the next couple days, um, so don't worry. Well, not, probably not, yes, probably not tomorrow, but after that, it's gonna get pretty cool. Also, don't forget to do some foam rolling if you can, or just like massage your legs out if there's any spot that's like tight and stuff. Don't forget to stretch at the end of your session, guys. Everybody doesn't like stretching and nobody likes stretching, but it's super super important. So do it My abs are so gone Her abs are gone. Are my abs gone? Just kidding Oh did you see that? Yeah, I got the whole thing You did? Because she uprosened. I want to see. She uprised did. That's why it, that's why she landed it She's uprisened Alright guys, um, for real, I'm gonna leave now. No, but for real, one more thing.